How's it guys? Uh, welcome to College Netted Engineering with Bongali Kumede. So today we'll be doing sequence 7 and it says that when start button is pressed, motor 1 must start rotating. Then only after 10 seconds, motor 2 can be started by the same start button. Motor 1 must continue to rotate. Then 10 seconds after motor 2 has started rotating, motor 1 and motor 2 must stop automatically. So you are going to have your CB, your overload 1, overload 2, uh, emergency stop and uh, stop button. So we are using one start button. Aha. And this is how our start button will be. This side is going to be for your, the left hand side for motor 1, so K1. And then our right hand side will be for motor 2. So it's the same start button, but this one K1, this one K2. So we'll have a normally uh, open of K2. There we have a normally open of K1. So we're having one start button, but now, uh, okay. Remember, when you press the start button, motor one must start running. So, we press the start button, motor one must start rotating. But after 10 seconds, motor two can be started via the same start button. So, we are going to add uh, motor two, K2, and we are going to add a delay on timer. So A1, A2, A1, A2, A1, A2, and we'll call it this uh, delay on. Uh, we'll call it T, T1, and we can connect it here. So when you press this that button, this one will energize. And when it energizes, we want to make uh, motor 2 to start 10 seconds after. So we are going to do it like this. But because of when it to start 10 seconds after motor 1 has started, we are going to introduce a normally open. A normally open of timer 1. So, you press the start button, this one energizes, motor one is running. But then, after 10 seconds, when you press again the start button, you, you must be able, uh, after 10 seconds, you must be able to start motor two. So that is why we added a normal open, which will close after 10 seconds. But now, here's the tricky part. Check. Uh, after 10 seconds, this one will close and your coil will energize immediately without you pressing the start button. So we want to be able to press the start button again. It must not happen automatically. The motor 2 must not run automatically. It must run after you press the start button. After 10 seconds, this one has started. So we are going to introduce a normally close. Here, a normally close of moto one or of K1. Normally close of K1. So let me explain what's happening. When you press the start button, this one energizes. And when it energizes, immediately here it will become a normal open. So that even after uh, 10 seconds, when this uh, normal open becomes a normal close. It must not start until you come and press the very start button again. So, but again, the statement says that uh, both motors must stop rotating. Yeah, it says that 10 seconds after mo 
after Moto 2, they started rotating. Moto 1 and Moto 2 must stop rotating. So 10 seconds after Moto 2 has started, um, it means that now we are going to do this. We are going to add a delay of time. Yeah. We add a delay of time now. We add a delay of timer, and we'll say A1, A2, timer 2. But check. We say that uh, after 10 seconds, when Moto 2 has started rotating, the whole circuit must stop. So it means that we are going to introduce a normally closed. But this normally closed is for Moto 2. Remember, a delay of timer works in such a way that after being de energized, that's when it starts to count. But now, we are going to add a normally closed again here. But this normally closed, it must be for timer 2. Immediately when here there's an open circuit, it means that these two become de-energized. And when these ones are energized, this one will affect your motor too. So everything stops. So this is how your circuit should be. Here it will be either neutral or a, or a life. Yeah. So let me check if everything is there. Yeah. Everything is there. Your left hand side is motor one. It's motor one. Your right hand side is for motor two. So let me explain the operation. What's happening here? Actually, you press the start button, and when you press the start button, what happens is that this one contactor, uh, the coil of contactor one, and for timer one, they both energize. Your motor one is running. And then you take your time. Motor two will never start until you come and press again. The start button. When you press the start button, now current escapes and come this side. But there's one thing you have to understand. Don't forget this normally close. Because of, in fact, let me just uh, draw everything when it's being energized. When this one energizes, what is going to happen is that uh, here there will be an open circuit. So it will become a normal open. So that current doesn't uh, flow to this side. After 10 seconds, yeah, it becomes a normally close. Now, it's still not running until you come and press. That's why there we introduce a normally close. So, you press, now it's running. And when this one is running, immediately it becomes a normal open. It becomes a normal open. And when it's a normal open, this one starts to count. Then, after 10 seconds, here it becomes a normal open. And when this one is a normal open, it means that this coil of a timer, it will de-energize. And when it de-energize, here it goes back to become a normal open. So, the whole second will stop. This one will stop running. This one will stop running. So, yeah. Um, it's actually not hard, it's very easy. You just have to understand the normal open and the normal close. So what I, uh, uh, we did is just we introduced a delay of timer and a delay on time. And I want to emphasize this. A delay of timer works in such a way that it changes its contact. Uh, it, it starts to count after being de-energized. So that's what we did there. Uh, let's meet on the next video. Sharp, sharp.